Welcome to hybrid teaching. Welcome to fourth grade reading and writing. I'm so excited to see you again. This is what I look like at the end of the day with hybrid teaching. I've had a lot of fun. My hair's a little scraggly, but you know how that is because you feel that way too. And our life partly is filled with lots of hyperlinks, 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 icons, icons, icons. What are we going to be studying today? You got it. Text features, graphic features, web features. Ha. Linkage. I think you're becoming experts at this. Okay, so I will go on to, my, while I share my screen, please go ahead and get your journal and your pen or pencil to read with. Okay. So today we're going to recognize characteristics and structures of informational text, including features such as pronunciation guides and diagrams to support understanding. As I look at my anchor chart, we're talking about types of type, uh, kinds of type. And the kinds of type actually help us understand like what's the title, what's being emphasized, what the writer is emphasizing or the author. We've got titles and headings, or if something's in bold face, it can be a heading, right? Or it might even be, if it's of a different color, it can be um, a hyperlink, you know, so that you click it and you go to another web page. Italic or slanted type text leans to the right. It means pay attention or read with more feeling. And pay attention or read with more feeling, right? Large text may be more important than smaller text. Uh, and text in different colors might add interest or fun. Capital letters, all capitals, show importance or indicate a title or heading. And of course, our headings help us organize the information. Graphic features such as visuals, illustrations, diagrams, maps, things like that. Graphic features, or even here's your picture and your caption telling us what's in the picture. This help us visualize and see what's going on. Like diagrams as well. Here's a diagram, it's illustrating, oh, this is how that works. This is what this is. Those are the parts. Now I get it with those vocabulary terms. Other graphic features can be charts and tables to help us organize that information and see it clearly. Or we can have illustration, illustrations, right? Photographs, just to give us an idea. We're about to see one for the Mars rover. Of course, we can have maps to let us know what's going on and where. Otherwise, it's just a lot of words. We need to see those things. Okay. So before we start, we're going to do some word work warm up. So let's use each new term in a sentence. So what do you see in this image here? Hmm. Don't lose heart. The idiom, don't lose heart, or the same, can mean like keep going, keep trucking, right? You've got a long way. So persevere, the verb persevere, is to continue in a course of action, even in the face of difficulty or with little or no prospect of success. That means you just keep plugging along, even if it feels so difficult, you don't even know if you're going to succeed, you just continue on, you just continue on. So other words are like this, continue. Continue is a very mild version of it. Carry on, go on, keep on, keep going. And so the verb persevere, you'll see how we change it. So persevere, to use in a sentence, you could say, why don't you tell someone in your room? Try using a sentence with persevere. Here's an example, his family persevered with his treatment, or we persevered with the internet meeting despite lagging 
or buffering because we knew we were going to get educated and we were learning how to do this together. And that's what I'm seeing for my fourth graders already. Okay. Persevere. Next. Rover. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Rover. You ever heard Rover, Rover? What is it? Red Rover, Red Rover, something. So anyway, a Rover, space exploration, right? It's a planetary surface exploration device. Sounds so fancy. Designed to move across the solid surface on a planet or another planetary mass celestial bodies. Some rovers have been designed as land vehicles to transport members of a human spaceflight crew. Others have become fully or partially autonomous robots. Oh, a rover. So we have the rover on Mars. Oh, and I love this microbial. My microbial, microbial, micro. <laughs> it's an adjective relating to or in characteristic of a microorganism, especially a bacterium causing disease or fermentation. Skin is a major source of microbial contamination during a surgical procedure. Skin. We're going to learn about microbial life on Mars or the rover that's trying to find out about it. Now, I bet that thing looked like something we're familiar with. You're right, the coronavirus. That's all we're seeing on TV, but we got this. Okay. Crater. So fun, here's Crater, a large bowl-shaped cavity in the ground, thanks, in the ground or on the surface of a planet or the moon, typically caused by an explosion on the impact of the, or the impact of a meteorite or other celestial body, right? So you're getting these things and it's, they're making these divots, these holes in the surface of the moon. Hollow, bowl, basin, pan, hole, cavity, pocket. So these are craters. And like the blast left a crater in the car park. Let's go ahead and alphabetize these words. Rover, persevere, and perseverance is the noun form of, um, perseverance is the noun form of persevere. It means a thing that's per persevering, right? Or the object is persevering. So in microbial, microbial and crater. and rewrite them in alphabetical order. Think about it. Go to the first letter and say your ABCs. Just a second. Thank you. Okay, let's do it. Here we are. I love this. Okay. So we're going to the first letter, A, B, C, up oh, there's C. Okay, so we can say that one crater goes right there is number one, A, B, C. So here is crater. I'm gonna put uh, insert text box. Actually, I think I can just type it. Here we go, crater. Oh my goodness, hold on. Crater goes right there. Now, what is next? A, B, C, take up crater. C, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, M. Okay, that one's next. So we will highlight that. We just need the first letter and we know my Microbial goes in number two. Now we're between P and R. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. Okay, so it's between these two. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
highlight this next one. We know P. Okay, so which one? We have to go to the next letter, E. Oh, same. Now we go to the third letter, R. S, same. E, V, E, same. R, this is a tricky one. Now it comes down to A or E, which is first. You're right, A. So this is the one. Perseverance gets it, okay? So this one goes right there. That means this one goes right there. And lastly, Rover, we're only looking at the first letter there. Rover goes down there. Nice work. Okay, so you're thinking job. Right now you have a read aloud and a thinking job. I'm gonna read aloud and you're gonna think. So informational texts gives facts, examples, and examples about a topic. And the author's purpose is really to uh, share information with you, right, about this topic. So you're gonna look for visual clues that help explain the text, such as pictures, illustrations, or graphs. All right, let's go. Ah, so cool. This is the NASA website. It's, uh, and it's in the public domain because it's, because it is, because it's government issued. <laughs> so anyway, we can actually use this for our material on television. So we're looking for things like this. So I'm going, oh my gosh, look at all these icons. Do I want to learn about Earth? the sun, solar system, universe, science and tech, or educators. Which one do I want to click on? And each of these icons actually has a hyperlink behind it. Hmm. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna read, uh, here's this first thing that's all in black and capital and kind of bigger letters, bold is what it's called, bold letters. The Mars Rovers Perseverance. And the short answer is, what is the Perseverance rover? So by the way, it says rovers plural, and it says rover singular. And I believe that there are multiple rovers that are Perseverance. I would have to uh, find out more, but the idea is it's that same type of rover, right? Um, in case one breaks down. That's my thinking without further analysis, you get to do that part. Okay, so what is the Perseverance rover? Perseverance is a rover that is on its way to Mars. It will study a region of Mars called Jezero Crater. This rover will answer lots of questions uh, about the red planet and search for signs of past microbial life. Hmm. Pretty cool. Hmm, I'm interested. And I'm seeing these illustrations, right? We've got the little, these are not real pictures. Illustrations, meet the Mars rover. All of these cool things that I can do. Here we have another color to help us with a kind of this. We've got the short answer. We've got another color to give us some, um, just help organize the information a little more. So I'm thinking about this, and this is, I'll put my website instead of the page number, the heading, and the name, and, it, and the heading names the topic, Mars Rovers. So that's what that graphic feature does for me, for the text feature. Icons, the icons from the other page, help me select the topic I'm interested in learning about. And then the hyperlinks, well, hyperlinks, icons, words, or phrases, often in different color that I can click to go to another web page to get more information. So that's what I'm doing right now with this, is trying to understand it a little better, this nonfiction text or informational text. Okay, so rovers on Mars, and I can click on this because it's in a different color and it's showing me that it's hyperlinked. Rovers on Mars have collected evidence of water in some of the chemical building blocks of life. 
scientists think it might be possible that life existed on Mars a long time ago. If there were living things, they were probably teeny tiny little organisms, something like bacteria here on Earth. But did life actually ever get started on Mars? So while I'm looking at all this, I'm thinking, look at these illustrations. First of all, these are pretty cute, cartoon-like, right? Makes me think they're pretty friendly. And this, you know, it said that the rovers, some of them are almost automated, right? They're robot-like. So almost like AI, artificial intelligence, that's what I'm thinking. So this diagram here, this illustration has a thought bubble. Like, what is this little guy? So he's thinking, can a rover actually think? Hmm, I'm kind of wondering about this myself. How about you? Can a rover actually think? Well, this is showing us maybe artificial intelligence looking at the astronauts saying, well, who are you? You're unfamiliar because they're thinking. They're thinking this is what's familiar. This is what we know. So right here you have a different different colored text. Uh, it's a little bolder and it's in a different color showing that these are hyperlinks. And the illustrations help me visualize the rover, right? What's a rover? Oh, okay, I see it. It's got wheels it's moving around. It's got an arm, kind of things you can expect. All right, so the Mars 2020 mission hopes to answer that question. The mission will send a rover very similar to Curiosity another rover, to explore the rocks, dirt, and air on Mars. Like Curiosity, the Perseverance rover is the size of a small SUV. <laughs> so as I know, Curiosity can be this hyperlinked, and I can click to it if I want a little more about it. Like, uh, let's see, the new rover has a different goal and different instrument. It will look directly for signs of past life on Mars. The new rover will also experiment with a natural resource that would be helpful in planning a human mission to Mars. The atmosphere of Mars is made mostly of a gas called carbon dioxide, but many living things, including humans, need oxygen to breathe. If a human were to go to Mars, they would have to bring lots of oxygen. However, there isn't much room on the spacecraft to carry liquid oxygen. So the rover will test a method for getting oxygen from the air in Martian atmosphere. And this will help NASA plan for the best designs to send human astronauts to explore Mars one day. So in this case, we don't have a lot of text features, but what we do have is we have Curiosity is in a different color and is hyperlinked. And we have the word NASA, the acronym, and what it stands for all in capitals, right? Because that's how you do it. All right. So we're looking over here and I see an illustration. I see two characters. They look like scientists. What is it helping me do? Well, what are those characters doing? They're looking at different places on Mars. And so it says Perseverance will land in a region of Mars called Jezero Crater. This crater is interesting to science because it's a very old region of Mars and it may have once been the site of an ancient river delta. The rocks in this region could tell us about the history of the red planet and may have preserved signatures of past life on Mars. So exciting. So these scientists are in, they're sitting here trying to figure out where should the Mars rover land, right? Where should it land? Where do we want it to land? Where do we want it to go? What do we want it to explore? What's the purpose? And they're, looks like they're, the illustration is showing us they're figuring that out which place are they deciding on? And here I have bold print and purple, different color. What do you think it does? What does that do for you? When will Perseverance get to Mars? The Perseverance rover launched from Earth on July 30th, 2020, and will arrive on Mars on February 18th, 2021. Stay tuned on the Perseverance Rovers website for updates, and I'm gonna take you to that. But first, I wanna see what you think. So we've seen more boldface. What does it help me understand? It gives a heading topic. 
when will perseverance get to Mars, right? All right, let's think of another one. What did the illustration do for you? With the scientists or the rover, what did that do for you? Illustration helped me visualize what the rover looks like, right? Thought bubble, that was pretty funny, right? It adds humor to help me think about the rover's perspective or AI, artificial intelligence. Okay, before we go to the exit ticket, I wanna take you to the hyperlink, which was, let me go back to it. It said, what's the countdown? So you click on that hyperlink, where's Perseverance? It's currently cruising to Mars. And this shows you the timeline. 70.4% of the trip is completed. And here, here's its speed relative to the sun. Here are all your hyperlinks, right? You can hover over these to get more information. Like, what is it? It's a rocket. Let's see. I'll click on that. And it takes me to another bit about the rocket, right? What else do I want to learn about it? A rocket. What's a launch vehicle? So that was one hyperlink. Go back with my back arrow, more linkage. So the countdown to Mars, we have 70 days, 21 hours, 34 minutes, and 16 seconds. Do these visuals help you? What about the countdown in real time? And here are all the hyperlinks. And here we have an icon, right? The NASA icon, this stands for NASA. We know we look at it, we go, oh, NASA, space. Okay. I think you're ready for your exit ticket, and I hope today's been a fun journey. On Mars. On a learning about informational text and the Mars rover. Okay, so we're not putting page numbers right now, but I clicked on another hyperlink for you and I wrote down the website. What do you see and why do you see it? What type of feature? What do you see and why do you see it? How does this feature help you? Go ahead and try your answers. You can pick different things. What do we have up here? We click on them. Big questions, weather and climate, atmosphere, water. So, right, little icons. And are they hyperlinked? What would, if I clicked on it, where would we go? If I clicked on one of them. What about this? Why does NASA study Earth? Look at the text and you can look at your anchor chart to answer you. How does the bold face help? What about the illustrations or the pictures? Thank you. I'll see you next week.